Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you a function calling large language model called as Arch Function 3 Billion. This model has been fine-tuned from Quen model, which is one of the most performant model from 2024 and I believe that is going to fly again in 2025. Now, this arch function 3 billion seems quite an interesting model because what it does is, is tries to make function calling or tool use with LLM quite seamless and that is what we are going to see after installing it locally. This model arch function 3 billion is a collection of state of the art LLMs which has been specifically designed for this use case and that is what makes it quite exciting. The model is designed to understand complex function signatures, identify required parameters and produce accurate function call outputs based on natural language prompts and that is one of the core concepts we need to understand and make sure that we are clear about it. When we say tool use or function calling, it doesn't mean that LLM is somehow calling functions. What it means here is that we give a natural language prompt or text prompt to the large language model to use any functionality and then LLM simply generates a function call or a function signature which means function name and function parameters that's it nothing else that's all it does and then it is up to us to actually make the call to our API for example let's suppose we have our own legacy application which has nothing to do with AI it is running maybe in cloud or wherever and then we want and it has a specific API interface where we call some API endpoint with some of the parameters now if you want to make that call with the help of your AI application you would need to generate a proper function call right so one way is to hard code it in your AI application or for example you want to provide an intelligent interface to your user where your user will only ask the question in a natural language then your LLM will very intelligently understand your text prompt and it is going to generate the function call on the basis of your text prompt to the respective accurate API endpoint which it needs to go and then it is up to your application to actually call that API endpoint with your function call. So that is a whole synergy between this. Now a lot of models which we have seen they do a good job but sometimes they really don't generate an accurate function call. So <clears throat> if you want to automate it you have to be extra careful that you make sure that accurate function call is being generated and then it is being called and that is where this arch function tries to help out. So they also have shared some of the benchmarks, especially if the text prompt is ambiguous or incomplete, even then it is performing well, which is quite interesting. So, uh, and of course it is uh, also offering low latency and high throughput. So let's get it installed and see how it works, not only for single turn, but also for the, for the multi turn one. And the size is quite good, 3 billion. Allow me to also thank Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So, do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card. NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48GB of VRAM. First up, let's create a virtual environment with Coda. And now let's install all the prerequisites which include Torch and Transformer. Make sure that you install the latest version of Transformer. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. Okay, let me now grab my model and the tokenizer with it. It is going to start downloading this Arch function 3 billion. And there you go, model is being downloaded. The size is quite small. There are two shards, so that's good. And the model is loaded. And now let me show you how this model works in terms of function calling. And don't worry about this code. I will drop the link to its model card where you can find the code. So let me explain what is happening here. So one thing with these fine-tuned models is that you have to make sure that you use 
the prompt which they are using because the model has been fine-tuned right according to that so if you deviate from this prompt then the performance really becomes quite bad so make sure that if you are looking to do function calling with this or tool use with this model you stay with this prompt where we are defining the task that the task in the task uh, it starts with that you are a helpful assistant then there's a tool prompt that this will be tool means function that you could call this function it starts with tool and then this is a tool text this is a format of the prompt for each function call and then this is a tool which we are defining of course you can replace it with your own tool and this is a very standard tool definition in json format where we are describing tools name its description and its arguments or parameters so you see location and unit celsius fahrenheit and it's a very very standard one so which is quite good so if you are using open eyes model or anthropic or any other you could make it a drop-in replacement here so and then we are specifying the tools you can add as many tools as you like by uh, separating them with a comma here in this list and then this is a conversion of the tool which is just looping through it and then tool formatting is being done as per their pro prompt format and then this is a system prompt which is being specified and then this is a usual stuff where we are applying the chat template tokenizer is converting it into a format understood by the model and the model is generating the output with these hyperparameters and then it is giving us the response back and it is <clears throat> printing the response now it is not going to call that weather function it is just going to generate a proper function call so for example if it says what is the weather in uh it says seattle i'll just go with my own city i'll say sydney and then see what it does here and there you go as soon as i have run it it has generated this very very fine uh, function call that get weather and these will be the arguments location sydney if i change the name of the city here it is going to change it to as per this uh, nlp prompt let me also quickly show you the vramp consumption it is using just around 6.5 gig of vram which is uh, not bad for 3 billion parameter model one other cool thing about this model is that it can do multi-turn function calling so let me show you an example let's suppose this is the result which we got from previous function that you know this was the weather and this was the temperature in the foreign height and then maybe you want to convert it or do something like that so i'm just adding the execution results again make sure that you keep it in this format and then again this is a message where we are appending it tokenizer is again um, converting it into token model is generating the output and then we are printing it out so let me run it there you go so it has converted it into 62 Fahrenheit in the city and and then you can of course again embed it embed it so what exactly happening here is you can create a chain of function here or even multi-agent setup or agents or you know um, AI calling other function or the tool use done by other agents so you can primarily build a multi-agent system using different tools or different functions with the help of this model so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think i will drop the link to it in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching